Good morning gamers! This is how you build the easiest and best iron farm in Minecraft. This farm produces around 300 iron per hour and only requires 5 iron to build. Just the hopper! This farm works by luring any zombie into this boat, where he will never despawn and infinitely scare the villagers. I am here with my assistant Yellow, so let's jump right into it. But before we jump into it, this video is sponsored by Scalacube. Are you looking to play Minecraft with your friends for free? Well then Scalacube is the answer for you. With 99.9% .9 uptime and free servers, Scalacube is ahead of all its competition. And if you ever want to add more RAM or features to your server, Scalacube makes it incredibly cheap to do so. If you want to get started right now, then click the first link in the description and get your free server today. Here are the materials for the farm. You can use any block and place a smooth stone, like dirt, cobblestone, or whatever you want. If you build this farm, be sure to let me know by leaving a like. First, make a 21 by 21 square out of path blocks. This is to prevent the iron golem from spawning anywhere else except for inside the farm. Then from the center of any side, count 5 blocks in and build a 5 by 11 rectangle. Next, on each corner, place one block on the long side of the rectangle. And then on the inside, on any side, make a 1x3 rectangle. On the opposite side, place one block in each corner. After that, place three beds exactly like this on each end. And then a trapdoor in between them and a sign against the trapdoor. Now waterlog the trapdoor. Directly in front of the beds, dig three blocks and place three slabs. Next, raise the entire structure up by one block. Break these two blocks and place one hopper and one chest. On the block below the hopper, place one torch. Then place slabs above the beds. Next, build an upside-down U out of glass like this. On the inside of the U, place blocks in every space except for the block above the water. Now on both sides, raise the ends by one block. On the side with a chest, break the center block and place an upside-down stair above it. After that, on both ends, place one block on the ends of each side of the farm. Then place a trapdoor facing this direction and open it. And then place a sign against the block above the hopper. Next, build an 11 by 7 rectangle on top of the farm. On top of the rectangle, place slabs on every block. Against the end with the hopper, place five signs here, and then place an additional five signs against this slab. Then break these blocks and build a temporary staircase for the villagers. While you're down here, if you only have one bucket, you can grab more water because you need to place two water buckets in these corners and a lava bucket above right here. Now it is time to prepare for the villagers. This is called fake housing. First, build the front of the house out of temporary blocks like this. And then place trap doors in the back and open them. And then three composters in the back. Now you can bring your villagers to the farm. Make sure it's daytime when you let them loose. They should just jump right into the farm. You might need to gently push one in. Once the villagers are all in, you can close the trap door, break the fake house, 
and place this block and slab back. Next, place three buckets of water on this end, and the farm is nearly complete. Jump down and break the temporary blocks you placed earlier and repath this block. Now, it's time to prepare for the zombie. First, break open these two sides to have a pathway that leads the zombie in. Then, place a boat as best you can in the center and wait for nightfall. Once you find a zombie, lure them into the farm and trap them inside using the leftover trapdoors from earlier. After the zombie loses track of you, then he should walk towards the boat and get stuck. Once he's stuck, then break the trapdoors and replace the blocks you broke before. And the farm is finished.